Greetings from the Charles Dean Wilderness Area here in Southern Indiana. It's Indiana's only wilderness area. I'm here for two nights. I'm gonna try to squeeze in as many miles as possible. Uh, but the kicker for this trip is it's going to get down to about 20 degrees, maybe even a little bit lower. So I'm prepared. This is the first hike of the year for me and I'm really excited to get out. It's long overdue. So come join me. I got camp all set up. Uh, I just hiked in about maybe a mile or so on the Sycamore Trail, and this is campsite number two. It's about 7.30 almost, so 32 degrees and dropping. I've got a great little fire pit over here, but unfortunately it's been raining the last couple days and everything is frozen. So I'll give it a try, but I am not expecting to have a fire tonight. Unfortunately, because that would be nice. All right, so the next plan is basically just to get dinner ready and uh, hunker down, stay warm. So that's going to just about do it for tonight. Uh, all ready for bed, had a few snacks, all ready for tomorrow. See how many miles I could do out here in Charles Deem. Good morning. Not as cold last night, it only got down to about 30, so uh, that was good. I stayed warm, had a couple of drafts, but just kind of had to move stuff around a little bit. Um, had a pretty good night, um, ready to get going. Uh, don't really know what this day has in store. I'm just kind of winging it out here. I've been here many times, uh, know these trails, done them numerous times. So I'm just gonna wing it today and try to get in as many miles as I can. So let's get going out here on the Sycamore Trail. Coming to the end of the Sycamore Trail. This is the intersection with the Terrell Ridge Trail. To the right is the pond and a few campsites around there. And this way is actually back to the car where I'll meet up with the Martin Gap Trail and then onto Cape Hollow, Cope Hollow. I just passed the intersection with the Axum Trail and I will be coming back around that way tomorrow. I'm basically doing a big loop, going to uh, Martin Gap, Cope Hollow, over to Blackwell, and then onto, I think, the Grub Ridge Trail, and then the Axum Trail and back out this way tomorrow. And I'll camp somewhere along the way. That's the plan. Crossing Tower Road on the Martin Hollow Trail. I think I called it the Martin Gap Trail earlier, but it's the Martin Hollow Trail. The trailhead for the Martin Hollow Trail is right behind the fire tower at the parking lot there not real obvious so you kind of have to look for it on down the Cope Hollow Keep coming across these. This is the fourth or fifth one. Huge bags of gravel. Air lifted in. The 
have got some kind of some kind of project going on. I'd like to come back in a year or so and see what exactly they did. I found the project. They're filling these in with uh, the gravel from the bags uh, to have better drainage. Cause, yeah, most of this trail has been kind of soppy and uh, wet. So this will be nice when they get it all finished. Here's a uh, completed one. Crossing Tower Bridge Road again. Coming out to a Blackwell Horse Camp. A few people out here. So I've been on this Grub Ridge Trail for a little while, making good time, uh, way ahead of schedule. But I'm going to go ahead and take a detour because I heard about this place quite a bit. This is called Frog Pond Ridge. And there was an old trail, I guess, that went up through here. I'm going to try to find it. This is great. You can absolutely see a trail. Sometimes it gets uh, disturbed, but it's there. Well, I made it about halfway up uh, the ridge and I don't want to walk down the other side, so I'm going to head back. Unfortunately, I didn't really see anything interesting. I thought I would probably see maybe some old um, established sites, but I didn't see anything. So maybe uh, going back through it a second time, maybe I'll wander off the trail just a little bit. Because I'm great on daylight. I wasn't planning on stopping nearly this early, but I always like the chance to explore someplace new, especially in the Charles Dean. I think I can make this spot work. Dinner for tonight, home prepared chili, cheese, Fritos, lime, and even a few goldfish.
All right, another good morning. Uh, got down to 21 last night, so definitely the colder of the two nights, um, but I was, I was warm. Fantastic, no problems whatsoever. In fact, I didn't even have to use the, uh, uh, my thin quilt, my Alpha Direct quilt. Uh, I was good with just the two, so uh, not a lot of breeze up here on the ridge, luckily, so I think that was kind of the difference. Um, but had a great night, so looking forward. I got about nine miles back to the car, so the temperature is only going up from here. It's already 33, I think, and it should be about 45 or so by the time I get to the car. So temps are just gonna shoot up here when the sun comes up. So I'm looking forward to that and looking forward to the rest of this trail. Come on, join me out here in the Charles Dean. <laughs> Gotta love that. Well, this looks like the best place to cross, but it's not going to be entirely dry. My feet were wet most of the day yesterday, but not too bad. Hoping not to start the day off with wet feet, but let's see how it goes. Well, let's just say I didn't do that great. I got about one and a half feet soaked. <laughs> so, okay. I've got another crossing, another chance to redeem myself. My odds look a little better down there though. So I'm gonna take a look. Not too bad on that one after all. I'm almost to the intersection with the Axum Trail, which is the trail I'll use to go from Grub Ridge, which is where I am now. Been on that for a while. And I will take that over to Terrell Ridge, which is where the car is parked and the Sycamore Loop is. So not too much more. I think uh, maybe around three miles. Nice morning hike. It's already warmed up quite a bit. I could probably take this jacket off. Probably will in a pretty soon. It was a great couple of days out here at the Charles Dean Wilderness. The flows around 21 last night, and the highs yesterday were just upper 30s, but most of that day was spent upper 20s. So it was a great test, not only for my sleep system, but my clothing system too. So everything held up really well. I'm really impressed with my quilts. Uh, just two of them could get me down to 20. So I'd like to see how low they can go and uh, maybe next time it can rain. And I'll test out the, uh, the rain gear and the icy sleet. <laughs> Not really looking forward to that, but that's next. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Get out there and explore.